Hello everybody and welcome to another Medieval Engineers update stream. And release kind of update, that release kind of thing. We're gonna be releasing a new update. Hey guys, Hello. how is everybody? Everybody excited for what this patch is going to bring you? There's it's lots of good stuff. Full of surprises. <laughs> And I'm I'm really excited for uh, for this update. It's been uh, it's essentially the next step in what 06 has been all about. I mean 061 we did major changes to the way the characters worked, and in 062 we did some major things to how death was handled and, and lots of more. And actually, this is just a continuation in the uh, in this story. But we did lots of other things as well. Don't 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 press the key yet. Don't no, I'm not pressing yet. the key yet. I'm not. I'm okay, being yeah. careful. You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's don't, watching don't me. Don't press the key yet. We will press the key when we get to pressing the key. So zero six three. What? Uh, let's first see like who's actually in the in the uh, around. Like I see that there's uh, lots of people there. That's yeah. Uh, how, just, how, just, how many viewers do we have? I don't know. Actually, uh, I have no way of seeing this. This is great. See. Just give us a wave if you're there. <laughs> I would try and I would try and read out everyone's name, but there's actually there's uh, a lot of people. One hundred and fifteen people. Oh damn! Here. All right. Nice, okay. Nice. All right. Okay. Wow. We haven't we haven't even done anything yet. We've just been sat here. No, we've we just been showing them the the picture. And, uh, <laughs> that's it. So there's some really really cool stuff. I mean, how long has it been in the, in the works this update now? Uh, a bit longer than we intended to, but we decided that we were going to spend a little bit extra time to get some of the old bugs fixed as well, and and do some other little things to generally improve the overall quality of the game. Um, we had some uh, some some old bugs that were left over from from times ago, so we decided we try to clean them up a little bit. And actually, then we were adding some of the new features and we discovered that we can do much more with it. So we just pushed it a little further and that's why it took a little longer than we originally wanted. Because the original plan was to release this update, I think, like early March and not April. But yeah, yeah, I think even it's before, it's before no, you... Not much before, like before I went on vacation. Before you went away, but maybe like a week or two before you went away. So maybe like, oh no, it's maybe yeah. a month then. Yeah, okay. okay. So... Anyway, let's get uh, let's get started. One of the one uh, I will start with the boring stuff first. Uh, one of the things we've uh, we've done some little performance improvements. You will see some minor FPS gain here and there. Uh, primarily when it comes to rendering expensive scenes with lots of blocks, like villages, and uh, we did some optimizations to the way that the blocks are rendered and managed. You will see this also in that the stockpile block with the roof that was broken for all this time is finally working correctly again. Oh, being able to see through one side. Yes, you yes. can now see, okay, good. see it on the right side. But little performance uh, here, like some more performance improvements to voxel rendering. And actually we made some changes to how all this, uh, these trees and environment items are, are um, what's the word, like defined. And uh, also this means that the game loads a little faster. But of course, we didn't just add uh, some some performance tweaks and updates because that would be kind of uh, like yeah, nice. But we wanted to do more with it. So, um, uh, sorry, don't mind me. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I I, I was thinking of uh, showing the first uh, first feature. You ready then? Okay. okay. Like, is the chat ready for the for 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 the for the, for the big feature? <sighs> I don't know. It's been it's been a while. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm ready. Honestly, I'm. It's just been. Whew. Well, let's just see. Just maybe like you can use just use like a single emote to describe your opinion to this. This. Let's see here. What was? Hmm, okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. All right. So three, two, one. Ta -da. So let's uh, wait for a few seconds before <laughs> before they pick up what it is. It's a very subtle. And, and it's also more than meets the eye. Actually, yeah, yeah, it's a lot more than meets a the lot eye, more than meets the eye. Actually. I see a boar. <laughs> I see a, I see some some excitement. Drew is getting chased away. <laughs> All right, so uh, everybody's getting excited over the three new bars in the top left uh, corner, <laughs> and that you are correct. We have completely overhauled the character stat system. The old stat system, as you all know was kind of limited. You would see it would update in these weird chunks and the whole integration with the game was in my opinion kind of uh, lacking. It was just kind of there. It was just mm. mostly there to kill you in annoying ways and it had 
no connection to like what is the core of the game which is about building uh, another thing that I all that always uh, irritated me personally uh, was kind of like how the the, the hunger system um, was very classic old-fashioned survival style where oh I'm out of food now I'm starving oh now I'm dead it was not interesting and we decided that and not only was it not interesting, it was actually also very bad experience for new players. And we decided that we wanted to overhaul the whole system. Mm -hmm. And of course, with overhauling the system, we decided the hut needed a, a fresh lick of paint as well. And this is, uh, this is the stat bars. You can see health, followed by stamina, followed by hunger. These are the same stats that we know and love. But the way they are working together is subtly different mm. um, where do I begin um, <laughs> there is so <laughs> much like there is so right, many let's, changes let's start, for example you can see now on the stat bar how fast your stats are uh, mutating so if you see you're running sprinting now actually you can see the stamina is going down and now it's increasing by the arrows and actually if you sprint a bit further just reduce some of, more of that stamina mm -hmm. jump a little like let's get that uh, stamina going jump you see jumping consumes stamina all right now stop running for a second you will see stamina regen goes up and you will see that the hunger degen goes down. And now after a few seconds of waiting, just standing still, the stamina regen maxes out. And you can see that it actually in de uh, increases the rate at which your food deteriorates. So actually just standing still with a full food bar, you can do that for like over an hour. If you, can go, if you want to go AFK, if you want to grab a cup of coffee, you want to eat lunch, whatever, actually your hunger will still be there even after you come back. But if you are actively playing the game, you will actually use up more of your food. And which. I think the key thing for all of these changes is actually, it's rather than punishing players for not eating, it's more like yes. we also encouraging you to eat because you'll yeah. do things much uh, with much more efficiency. And yes. it's, it's, that's, it's more about re rewarding rather than punishing, but... Mm -hmm. Of and course, if you don't bother, you'll also suffer, but right. not as much as before. So, and in that uh, trend, we also added a new feature in the background. Um, we call it Vigor. And as your character eats good food, uh, he or she will increase in uh, like overall well-being. So let's say, uh, let's, let's open the second tab on the, on, the, on the toolbar. We prepared some items. This was the clicking you guys heard. Uh, yeah, just press Ctrl 2. You can see all kinds of foods and even a drink. Uh, these are a lot new of new foods. Confirmed. Most most of them <laughs> are new. We have a couple of old ones. The goulash is still there. Don't worry. And these foods will uh, not only just fill your hunger bar, uh, fill fill your hunger bar. These will also uh, increase your vigor over time. As your vigor increases, this means uh, two important things. For starters, your maximum health and stamina will go up. So let's let's eat uh, something. Let's eat the salad. It's on three. Okay. You can see it goes up a little, and you can see a little icon over there. This little icon that you can see now, that is the icon indicating that your vigor is increasing. As your vigor increases, your maximum health and stamina will increase. And as your vigor increases, the speed at which you are building, mining, uh, cutting trees, they also increase. The rate at which you swing your weapons will go faster. That said, if you actually manage to decrease your vigor below the normal line, you will actually be a slightly bit slower at uh, uh, mining and building so really actually healthy. yeah you're you're not really living, healthy you're not living <laughs> healthy you're not uh, um, uh, what's the word you're not uh, eating correctly and actually you'll start to suffer the consequences of course this is very long term this this is not like you forget to eat once and boom it's it's you're screwed uh, actually you have quite a bit of food and, and and it's very easy kind of to make like the salads for example if you press uh, your inventory screen you will see that salad can now be crafted in your personal inventory, like right over there. So this means that you can always prepare a salad. Always prepare I mean, a salad. I mean, you don't Tasty. need a, you don't Delicious. need a, you don't need fire to make salad. So we decided that it might as well be crafted in your personal inventory. Mm -hmm. 
Makes sense. So it's actually fairly easy for people to keep this uh, food up uh, from starving. And um, but that's not all. Like as you can see, if you can go back to the main to the game for a second, uh, the the figure has been assigned. And actually, if you eat a goulash, it's on four. You can see that the vigor bar, there's a, you can see that your food is now very maxed out. Like it's over the limit. So if you press four again, it will tell you you cannot eat because you're not hungry enough. But you can also see this little silvery edge on the, on the side. The silvery edge is the amount of vigor you're going to gain. And it takes mm -hmm. like, as you get closer to the maximum, it takes more time for the vigor to tick. But for now it's like one minute ish for each whole point of vigor to gain. So actually, uh, goulash, I think it gives you five, five vigor. So um, it will take about five, six minutes for mm -hmm. the whole vigor to be assigned. <laughs> goulash hype. Goulash hype. <laughs> hype for goulash, yeah, I know. So right. if you can like, <laughs> quickly make your way to a road. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was just... I mean, because... Oh, you have medieval master. You can actually fast, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. fast travel there or fly. Where would you like to go to? Uh, just just a road. I want to show the next thing, but you'll have to turn up Medieval Master once you're okay. there. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Is it this one? Oh. Just, just put yourself there on the ground. That's the road. It's fine. There we go. So, turn off Medieval Master. And now open the map. Now, What's that noise? What? Oh, that's, that's, the noise, that's the sound you get when you gain a Vigor Point. Ah! Tick -a -tick. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I heard uh, the all right then so if you click fast travel button mm -hmm. you will see that there is now a range limitation so if you try to fast travel somewhere just pick a, a tile that is allowed and you click it it will tell you to fast travel there <laughs> it will consume your food so you will actually have to bring rations while you go traveling otherwise you will starve now, the, now this, interesting. this was a limitation that we've always wanted to add because it ties the fast travel to the game and it uh, introduces every like it kind of starts to put things together in a cohesive way mm. and actually you have a benefit for raising your vigor now if your vigor is maxed out and you eat a goulash you can have up to 210 food which is enough to travel all the way around to the other side of the planet and partially back wow because this actually means it's actually um a player that has been playing for a longer period of time, he will be like able to travel further, further and exactly. do more faster. So this is, it's actually, it's also about, so you could say upgrading your character, but it is about having yes. these, having these uh, attributes to your character, which mm -hmm. you can increase. And I was thinking it's good because if you want to go on a grand voyage to the desert or whatever, mm -hmm. it means that you're going to have to stock up for that. You can't just like be on an empty belly and be like crawling yeah. around. So it's kind of like, Imagining you're skipping the time and you actually are doing the, the distance, but yes, yeah. absolutely. It's, it's and actually this is kind of important. It, it kind of puts back the sense of the size of the planet because with the fast travel, the planet might as well just not exist, you know, like it's kind of makes it small, but with this limitation, you actually have to stop and at least see the vistas here and there. So actually you can uh, fast travel to somewhere. Don't waste all the food just use a little bit. So, okay. I'm here now. One second. I just wanted to see if I fast travel. Oh yeah, and another thing, the distance calculation was changed to follow the road. No longer it's just straight, uh, like a, a vertical distance plus horizontal distance, okay. it now follows the path. So oh, actually, and this is very important, if you can uh, move to the safe area, because I will show you what that means, right. we are going to declare war on the safe area. This is only 60, this is only Yeah, 60. just don't, don't go to the safe area itself, but to like one of the sides. Oh, okay, one of the, okay, right. Just travel there, it's a full hit, it's okay. So now if you travel above the safe area, no, no, go back to the map, keep on the map. If you want to fast travel to like the tile next to the safe area, mm -hmm. not next, that okay. one, yeah. See, now it costs two food to travel there. But if you declare war on the safe area, or at least uh, break the alliance, you will have to create a house. Yes, I will. You will find actually that you will have to travel around the safe area and you will find that the food cost will go up to reflect this. So this means that if you are on a server and you claim a section of the road, you can actually force people to travel around, increasing their, uh, their cost. 
on the other hand, like you can be an ally no, with them, and then they can fast travel. No, you don't have to declare war. Just break the alliances enough. You can make alliances, and they can actually fast travel. See, now you don't even have enough food to travel around it. Uh, around it? Sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. You don't have enough food to travel around it. Ah. No, this is because it's blocked. No, no, insufficient food. If you zoom out, you will find, uh, if you go to Umbril, that you cannot even get to Umbril. Anywhere in Umbril. So actually, wow. if we now eat the goulash again, see now, ah, now you can travel there. Ah. Can you now make it to the safe area? Probably not. In I think you don't have enough vigor to make it all the way around. All the way around. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, so you'd have to have all the way to come exactly. up and around and all the way to that. Exactly. I see. Yeah, I exactly. see. So this ties that uh, to the... Because... Uh, uh, go on. Yeah. Sorry. So I was, was going to say that I've been following this yeah. and what you guys have been doing. but um, And I know some of the things, but I don't know all the details. So this is, uh, this is a first for me as well. So uh, can you burn <laughs> a little bit more food? Because uh, we, we are full, so we cannot okay, eat anything. Right. So just fast travel some more. But you cannot fast travel now because you're in claimed area. Of course, I am. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you cannot fast travel from uh, hostile areas, so uh, don't use all your food here. Ah, oh, you actually doesn't matter. You cannot fast travel to your. Oh, yeah, you're, you're now. Ooh, the weird noises. Hunger strikes, and now there's a negative. Uh, no, there was no negative. No, that I was mean. Yeah, you have a negative buff. Yeah, a that's true. Buff, yeah. This is actually just an, an alert that you are going to be starving soon. Okay. It's just a, it doesn't actually do anything, but it alerts you that you are going to be starving. So, like, eat something. It doesn't matter. Like, a, not a goulash, but something light. So then, the salad. Sure. So, uh, I want to show also this one. Like, can you sprint for a bit? Yeah, and like I want to show what happens. Actually, as your vigor increases, your stamina regen is faster as well. Okay, this is enough. I wanted to get. I wanted to show off also when you. Uh -huh, when you get exhausted. When you That's get exhausted. True. So when you actually use up all your stamina, you are exhausted, and while you are exhausted, your stamina does not regenerate. And there's also that's the first time you see the buffs that actually have a, a duration a, a duration on the actual buffs, which is really cool to see. Mm -hmm. See if I can do that again. Yeah, it's kind of easy. Actually, if you have a tool and you start blocking, that will also continuously consume stamina. Okay, so you can't just block forever. You cannot block forever. When you block shortly, it's you barely notice it in your stamina. But when you take a oh, long, I need to. you need to go. Yeah. <laughs> when you are blocking for a longer time, the longer you are blocking, the faster it goes down. Oh wow, look at that go. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Boom. Boom. And then it also cancels your block. Interesting, interesting. So, because so, some people would would often just stay blocked. Yeah. You have to, I guess that's very. So one thing we have added, you can see it in the people have already like uh, recognized it. It's, uh, yes, we called it, uh, it's tea, it's herbal tea. And herbal tea actually uh, increases, I think, I believe, oh, it's your health regen. So if you take damage and you drink a tea, you get faster health regen. We have up to four different buffs to pick from. We have herbal tea and we have fruit juice. Herbal tea gives you health regen. Fruit juice, fruit juice full of sugars, gives you stamina regen. Mm. We also have sweet bread and spiced bread. Sweet bread and uh, spiced bread affect the rate at which you are building or at which you are cutting trees or mining stones. Let's find the food here. Just going to show the, all, all the, should show the, all the food? Yeah, yeah, you can show the food. So yeah, we go. Spice bread. It's making, I said just before the stream started, it's actually making me quite hungry. <laughs> Sweet bread. There we go. Salad. Hodgepodge. Just mashing stuff together. Soup with bread. Fine cuisine right here. Fruit juice. Tea. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah. That's, uh, you can see the buff for the tea is ticking Also, away. slowly, yeah. uh, the duration and of that one is slow. Yeah. And now the difference between fruit juice and the bandages, because bandages have been changed to reflect for the system as well, uh, the bandages regenerate your health a lot faster. Okay. Um, but the effect lasts only 10 seconds. Uh -huh. And also, if you take damage while your bandage is applied, you will lose the bandage effect. So if you bandage yourself up in combat and someone, and someone hits you, the healing is uh, cancelled. Interesting, interesting. 
all right so i think that's that's <laughs> that's that's all for the stat system <laughs> uh let's see what the reactions were uh, are for the for for the stat system because i think people are yeah what do you guys think so obviously we've been it. kind of explaining it but i mean i've been seeing some comments here but this is a mass i mean the guys the designers and yourself and the programmers the whole team yeah. has spent a long time a really really long time thinking about this and every element of this that yes. it's, it's really not something that's taken like a day yeah. but, i mean both the, the design and the implementation has taken quite a bit of time here yes. And thoughts. This is why, in the end, the, the update took a bit long because we had to add it, we had to balance it, then we discovered that actually let's push it a little more, let's make it just a little bit more uh, interesting, and and actually like now it actually ties into the building. If you have good food, you are like well fed, your vigor is high, you have uh, some some I believe it's the spiced bread, you are really ready to like you can actually very quickly wave that hammer around and building will go a lot faster mm -hmm. or actually for the people who are always stuck in the mines they will actually cut a lot faster the um, the ground and produce stones for themselves so it's i mean it's, it's definitely going to be useful for you know someone like myself who regularly forgets to eat i'm no longer just going to die of starvation and make some mistakes like that I'm just going to be, if I don't eat, I'll just be slower building and everything else. So the, the motivation is because you, you want to eat so that you can just build quicker and uh, yeah, get things done, get, get, get everything done quicker. So it really is um, a big change here. What's this here we've got, got here? Aha, sweetened bread also got a duration. Your building yeah. speed is temporarily boosted. There we go. Yes. That sugar though. That sugar. Uh, let's see, there, there was uh, one question, what about health? No, the arrows on the health, it works the same way. If you're taking damage, like someone is, a barbarian is whacking you in the face, or someone else is shooting you, you will see that it's going down, and when it's regenerating, you will see the arrow going up. Uh, we also changed the falling damage, so be careful. Uh, uh, if you start sliding down the mountains, you will die. All right, let, let me just try here. Let's, start, let's see what happens if I take some damage to the... I'll go up somewhere and then turn off. I, I literally just told you what's going to happen. I know, but I'm going to try it. You're going to die and you will lose all that precious food. It's okay. Actually, that's another important change. Oh, yeah. Dying uh, will now give you a loss of some of your food. And, in, okay. and if you have no food when you die, you will take a hit on your vigor. Oh, no. You're going to die. <laughs> I've had it all. Oh! Oh! I told you. And there's a new screen as well. Oh yeah, we changed the the, the, the damage indicators. They're a little uh, retouched. Just a little nicer. <laughs> you were right. That was quite savage, actually. Yes. We don't want people sliding down the mountains. That was, like, kind of bad. This is going to be interesting because a lot of people do use that method. So mountains are actually more deadly now. Jumping, like going off a cliff is gonna be kind of, uh, it's gonna cause you problems. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's do some research uh, to save everybody's eardrums. Uh, let's okay. just use the dev uh, thingy in the research screen. You can just say, re unlock all research. It will be faster. So what? I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay, oh, and, uh, okay, all right. Uh, not this one. Go to research, medieval. No, it's in game, sorry, because it's shared. Research and re unlock research. You, there we go. Because now we have everything unlocked. Perfect. Good, right. Okay. Because we haven't uh, uh, limited to just uh, new stat system. We also introduced some new blocks. Yes, we did. You've already seen them a little in the in the picture uh, that we posted uh, on the on the for uh, Facebook and I think Twitter and and this uh, all these all these places. So let's uh, just go into the house first and then we will show these later. Okay. Oh. As you can see, the texture we have for the floors have been updated. They now match the new wood texture that we use for the log walls, for the uh, all the other things. It's okay. Oh yeah, we also did a change there, but I'll, I'll show that later. Look at that new texture, it's it's gorgeous, I think. Mm, it is really nice, yeah. Even the uh, even this has been done as well then to 
course. Okay. Otherwise it won't fit nicely. Wow. And this is a part of the, the process that's going on is to, to actually update all the old blocks to match the same quality of the newer blocks that we're making. Um, because this, is, this includes the stone and many of the ones that Tim's mentioned in previous streams. Yep. Because uh, yeah, a lot of the o older textures and blocks really do need updating. So it, it won't, I don't think they'll, as, they'll come in stages probably. For sure. Yeah. All right, let's uh, go outside and let's make some more more blocks because we actually have a lot of blocks, not just uh, not just the new floor texture. Okay then. Uh, these really are more visible when you actually put them onto something. So let's make a base of stone cubes first, mm -hmm. and, and preferably not in Merrick's uh, area. Yeah, okay. I was he, I was he doesn't like it when, when you're just building stuff in his area. You know. Like. I can hear a barking deer. I'm just gonna find. Hold on. Don't mind me. Let's 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 mix up. Let's go to let's go to somewhere else. Like to see. Just mix up the train a little bit. Where's the? Uh, s just my. Okay, so I can come here. That's pretty much the same. There you go. There's some nice clearing. So make a nice uh, five by five. I guess will suffice. So one of the new blocks that we do it, uh, actually, let, can you show a picture first? Yes, I can. Let's, let's show the old picture first. <laughs> the old picture it. that I really wanted to never have to see again. Uh, let's see if he gets the right picture. I the wrong one here. Uh, I had this prepared, but I, unfortunately I didn't update the names, <laughs> the names of it. So I need to find it again. I think, uh, Everybody, a round of applause. Yeah, pro streamer, right? I know. Um, that is very. Str oh, that, this one, I think. Yes, this one. Yes, here it is. So here are the glorious <coughs> old railings. <laughs> <laughs> they have always been a thorn in my eyes. So when we started working on this update, one of the first things I wanted to get rid of were these things. They're more like head bars. They're like, they're, they're like I call them censorship bars because they were exactly on your camera height and you would basically be looking into the wall. Uh, and you could not even use it as a railing to look around. Like, I really didn't like them. So we it made was, some new ones. It's more, it, it look, I say I always thought it looked better as like a mineshaft entrance, kind of like crouch under. No, they here. just they just look bad. <laughs> so just please click this away. I don't want okay. to see them ever again. Just, yeah. No, no, just, just. Away yeah, all right, away. all right, all right, all right. I was going to get stressed out. So let's uh, let's show the new railings. Look at that. These are at a much more palatable height, and actually they look quite nice. I think. So I'll place a few more. Yeah. Okay, let's make a nice little uh, fenced-in area. Hold on, we've got the. We have now also some new variants, of course. A new variant. A so I think it was just railing. And you can use four. Wait, I'm not. I'm not doing. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. No, I'm gonna do. I got my plans. Oh no. Uh, okay. Sorry. next to each other there yeah, two so we have a little variation in the in the railings finally the the round ones and uh, we have a nice uh, support ones they look actually really nice when you have them like uh, on the side in your castle is like uh, what do they call like you have like a floor and then support and then another floor and then another support it, it, it looks really really nice and yes, we also have a diagonal one, like for meant for the stairs. Right, I'll show the. You can make some diagonal ones that lead up to the. It's already in there. Hmm? On three. Yeah, I know, I know. But I was thinking. I just go up the supports. Uh huh. Like you can put them on the ground. And use the mouse wheel. 
And then you can put that wooden stairs. <laughs> dive, 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 dive. There you go. And now it doesn't work because you put their blocks already. Uh, come. Or is it because you were in the intersection of the cube space? It's also possible. Well, I'm, I'm, press, I'm pressing the button. Alright, so you have to remove them first, I think. Okay, yeah. Multi blocks are always. No, this is weird. Ah, it doesn't compound with the. Doesn't with compound the with, with, the, with the support. Yeah, it should do right. Remove probably. the support thing. Okay. There you go. Now they can work. There we go. Now it works. Yeah, that probably should be fixed to, to compound. So yeah, these are the railings for the stairs, and I think it looks. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah, we, we, we we have some uh, some plans for a nice little gate and yeah that's the first thing i said yeah, when yeah. i saw these i was like where's what? the gate no it was more like why are these here like uh, this looks like a little <laughs> like a little paddock you know yeah. but it, i think even i think i think two variants i think that would make a lot of sense if just this without these and then one that has an animated gate and then you've been for a good time so that will come in due time mm -hmm. Yeah, even middles. I think yeah. even, even, even middles wants even a fence gate. Wants a fence gate. <laughs> Fancy gate. It's really cool though. Just uh, like it's, oh yeah, it's just such a big difference here. And Here's a look out across your. Yes, it's 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 a fantastic fence. I'm really much much more happier with this one. It's just so much so much better. That that one sore was just it was the ugliest block in the game. I think. It, yeah. yeah. Like. Not not even by like a sl like by such a wide margin even. It just didn't make sense. <laughs> it just didn't make sense. Like, no, it, it was like, literally like like who came up with it? But anyway, we don't have them anymore. Now we have these, and they're much nicer. But actually, we have more blocks. <gasps> we are not done yet. So we'd like to move show for now. Yeah, we'll just have to show it all at once. All right. Oh, sorry, I'm clumsy today, only today. People not always like to make plank walls and they no, don't move the stone cube. Oh yeah, I know, I'm the sir. I'm and the they, made the stone, the, they used to make the plank walls by placing lots of planks. Lots of planks, which is great which for performance. Which is great for performance. So yeah. <laughs> we decided that in this case, we'll just, uh, you can fly. Uh, yeah, I can fly. You can fly. I can fly. We decided that uh, we'll help you guys out with the performance and also with the effort of not having to place all these blocks one by one by introducing plank walls. Yes. Builders rejoice. And of course, they follow the same wood texture style that we've been introducing. So these work exceptionally well with the new floor textures and the new railings. You will expect, and you can expect the normal set. Of no. Blocks. Oh no, it crashed. <laughs> so there is some really weird crash going on on Joel's PC. Yeah. Like I, I, honestly, I have not seen a single crash. So it's something with your PC. But um, while he restarts the game, which will take a few seconds, uh, we will. Uh, set it off. Ah, you're gonna put the picture up. There we go. So there we go. That summarizes it nicely. Too much machiness for Zox PC. Yeah. <laughs> the, cra the crazy part is there's even no, no crash log, which is weird. It literally is something with your Windows. I'm I'm sure of it. Well, my Windows is updated because it keeps it wants to update the latest version. I keep so well, it 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 won't update. It refuses to want to update. So. Okay. Spooky. Oh, this is from the previous stream. Maybe I could update this. Yeah, that might be that make it interesting. Let's see if that works. Hopefully it works. It should load the saves. It should load the saves. Uh, after we are done with the blocks, what time is it? It's 7.40. 7.40. Okay, so yeah, after we finish showing off the wooden blocks, we can, I think we can release. Okay. It still, it still works. Did this was something that I built on the. Oh no, this uh, is not the last space. stream. This was, this was the. Yeah, this is oh, me. This is one of them. Yeah, this is me. Did the log walls, so we built a little hut. 
to demonstrate the log walls. So this is what I built. Um, that was and also mechanical blocks. Yeah. Oh, was this from Zero Six? This is this is Zero Six. Yeah, yeah. This was this is. Oh, wow. No, it was my handy work. It was yeah. right. because we introduced the log walls in Six Two. Now this was something else we built again, just showing off the the log walls. But what we could do is here is actually start to upgrade it. Start upgrade it. All right. Okay. Cool. By the and way, the railings we... will be automatically replaced. That's what I was about to say. Okay, we, good. We, we did. We just overwrote the mobile files, not the. Uh, that could be quite interesting then, because obviously people have built built using the original um, railings, and maybe in certain ways, right? There may be shenanigans. There may be shenanigans. Oh no! I think there's something wrong with that block. Maybe. Wait, what am I? Oh, oh, what am I clicking? It's the blank walls with, with doorways. And yes. Then. All right. We can avoid because that it's one. the second time on the same, 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 uh, same element. Yeah, worlds will be compatible X-wing. Like you will be able to uh, load your old saves. Like we just loaded the 061 save, so it should be fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> Blank walls, OP. I will, I will have to look into this one with the guys. Maybe it's just something that's really easy to fix. And then we'll... Uh, yeah, the problem is, as I said, there's no crash log. That's the there's biggest... There's no crash log. Let's try that again then. All right, let's avoid the plank wall with door for now. Mm -hmm. And like uh, when we are going to... When we're ready to release, we'll try that one again. And if it crashes, we release. And if it doesn't crash, we also release. <laughs> <laughs> A save from two years ago is not going to load Super Happy Alien. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, we'll just upgrade this one. No, as soon as you remove a wall from here, everything will fall down. Okay, maybe not. Then. <laughs> I like I, I like this spot. It's kind of quaint. I'm just going to switch to a new toolbar. I'm seeing your old toolbar triggered me. <laughs> so right. don't don't add the doors to your toolbar. You can believe us that the, there are, they do exist, right? Just do the window. That's right. okay. Let's see here. There you go. Let's get rid of these things. This was this was just actually demonstrating the fact that we want to update the stone textures because of the ah, harsh yes. edges that's what uh, what the guys are working on right now actually oh okay a little, on, okay um, that's a little 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 uh, sneak peek little into sneak the future. Peek. new new stone blocks yeah, hype. There, there's there's uh, there's plans for replacing this the stone block texture wow see so, yeah, that's the only reason why we had all these things here which is to show the fact that these are old yeah there's so many of them all right so all right let's, let's, let's try and put away a bit I just remove that and boom. Keeping the uh, keeping the log corner. Oh no, I just deleted the log corners, but it's all right. You don't want to cause a collapse. No, I'm being careful here. Careful is my middle name. I'm sure it is. So this is the same full set of blocks as you have for the logs. Really cool. I really like how they look. So a little peek here. There you go. And of course, we have many other little things. It's a kind of a, a big update. So let me see if I can, can up, bring the up list update, up. update the bring the list up uh, indeed. Uh, forums. Plank wall pillar. Okay, so you've actually interesting. You've got a. Oh, I'm not logged in. I cannot even look at it. Aha. Okay, I thought it was the same thing here. So hold on, log. Yeah, we have a new pillar. Oh, it's a new pillar as well. Oh, okay, I thought there's it was the same a pillar. New okay. Pillar in town. Pillar hype as well. Goodness pillar me. hype. And they have the same. Like all of the pillars have the same compound uh, settings. So if the one pillar fits, the other pillar fits. Very nice. This was kind of the, for some reason, this was a process that took like uh, four or five uh, uh, iterations before everybody uh, understood what I meant with make sure they all function the same. Um, 
it was really kind of a fun uh, process where we went through like five, four or five iterations of pillars before they all had the same dummies and <laughs> compounded in the same way. I was, I was looking here combining the, the planks with like the, the log pillars and you can kind of do that as well. Yeah, yeah, it works. It even looks okay. Like they're yeah. kind of following the same style and uh, like tone of the texture. One, one subtle thing with the change we made to the floors, they no longer clip through the stone walls. Like you could see that in the old uh, wooden floors, they would like kind of stick through the walls and this, this should be fixed now as well. So what are the other general changes? Uh, da, 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 da. Attacking, we updated the tanning rack model, but it's minor change, you will not see it. Uh, falling damage, oh yes, can you place down a campfire? Yes, sir. This will be fun. People will like it for sure. I just want to, just want to quickly do the front of this so you can see the the other blocks as well. Yeah. Just a teensy tiny little campfire. Ah, right, there we go. This is, uh, is going to be fun. Everybody, I'm sure, like, just put it on the stone, it's okay. And you have the fuel? You have anything burnable on you in your inventory? Mm. Yeah, there's a log. Perfect. So put the log there and, and turn on the campfire. Okay. And now, now stand on top. Go to switch third person and stand on top of it. Just don't just, just try this at home. Don't right. try this at home or, or try it at home. It's okay. But that oh my goodness! <laughs> You actually ah. burned. <laughs> okay, no, you, <laughs> normally you would be super dead. Oh wow! <laughs> it's only that you weren't creative that uh, you survived. But uh, yeah, if you stand on top of a burning fireplace, this also goes for the fire bucket, by the way, not just the campfire. You'll catch fire and you will die. You can actually see it. Ah, oh, wait, you don't have the you don't have the stop bar because you're in your survival. I created one. The you would see, you would see the, the you would see the burning uh, debuff. And yes, burn the heretic. <laughs> it's finally possible. <laughs> okay. Wow, Tim. Any any other? There's, there's some hidden traits about you, I think. Yeah, burning. Uh, oh wait, no, not burning. I was going to say something else. Uh, bronze tools have been uh, tweaked. They now have the same efficiency as steel tools, but they have less durability. We always, I always didn't like how bronze tools were basically this uh, red-headed stepchild that uh, no one wanted to use and that was always kind of sad for me. So actually we made them, um, actually they are just as efficient as steel tools. Okay. Uh, they just take a little bit more damage, like they break down easier. Um, what else? And of course then there's lots of uh, modding changes. So, uh, yeah, for for the mothers amongst you, this is uh, oh, mod okay. This is probably interesting. Some interesting. Stuff. It's also all in the forum post, which uh, Drewy will be releasing shortly. I should actually send him a message that it's, it's uh, we can we can I suppose we can release now. Uh, but he asked me to send him a message, so there I will go. do just that. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Yes, Sanford063 is here. The Kraken. Release Kraken. the Kraken. Now that means I have to go to my PC real quick to. Okay, it's alright. I'll just release the rest of the Kraken. You go ahead. I'll, I'll just carry on. Um, I'm just gonna. I'll just carry on decorating this place. And then you. when I come back, I will talk about the modding changes. So okay. Don't place any any black holes with doors. But okay. Yeah, it's alright. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna build some of this stuff. All right. It's, it's really, really exciting stuff, as always, from the team here. Let's see. Hmm. So, what do you think then, guys? What are your, what's your favorite part of this update? Is it the stat system, the stat overhaul, shall I say? Uh, or would it be the, uh, the planks and the, the, the new blocks, basically? I know the builders are going to be loving the new blocks, and then maybe maybe the, um, that that'd be my guess. Oh, hello! Ah, oh, look, these are the old ones that I left from last time. And we were showing off how bad the old ones were. <laughs> Sing us a song. All of it. Plank door crash. 
Plank walls, burning the... Okay, oh, I forgot the, the fires. Okay, okay, I forgot about that point. Purging the unclean. <laughs> um, the fruit juice. I was asking them what their favorite part of the update was. And the what, uh, fruit juice. All right, guys. If you go to your Steams and refresh it, you got your stuff. You, you can, can play right now. You can play with it. The, there may be a crash with the wood planks door wall thingy that <laughs> we're having here so that's something that we are looking uh, into right now um there's actually just still one person other than me in the office so uh, we'll see how that goes look tim look you cannot it's, i know you can't you look, cannot. this is ours oh and look are you making a barn like some kind of barn wait a minute and if i use if i use this can you What is he doing, guys? What is he doing? No, no, I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm. Grid tilting. What is grid tilting? Is that what you mean when you are like building on a grid alignment that is not aligned to the gravity, because your grid is too large? Issues with buff panel. Fantastic. There we go. Nice. Uh, also, the 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 UI is for the stop bars is moldable. So, oh yeah, I was gonna talk yeah, about mods, the, mods, I was gonna yes. talk about mods. So, what do we have for the mods? Uh, for those who are that have figured out how the animation system works, we've added a new animation blending node that can blend animations together depending on some uh, property, which we use for, for example, the swing speed. We can say swing speed is some value and it will slow down the animation. Uh, we added a couple of new item tags, me uh, weapon melee, uh, pickaxe, axe cutting, shovel, uh, there's also weapon ranged. I need to update the list, I can already see. Uh, we updated the search screen categories to ser support searching by tags. Mm -hmm. uh, we removed the old my character stat component and we have removed the old my entity stat component so this this may break some mods then any mod that was doing anything to the stats will guaranteed not work uh how it used to all the old code that was there has been completely deleted for, for, for good reason though literally yeah. nothing yeah. remaining even the huts elements has been written from scratch and is completely new code do you know is it is, does that include does that affect many mods do you, do you think it is uh well it will any? mostly affect mods like uh what's it called uh Ram realms of mistvalin because okay. they make a lot of uh, stat changes and actually that mod was what inspired kind of inspired uh, a, a portion of the design that interesting made okay to to better um support the kind of things that they were trying to do interesting so it, like mods definitely inspire us also sometimes for like we we have some idea of what we want to do and then when we see mods that are also trying to to play with the same concepts sometimes we can uh, we, we we said all right so mods wants to do this as well actually we can take this into account now while we are redesigning the system anyway and make it easier for them to um to work with um, it's just these little subtle things that that like uh, as you are developing like this game that's the benefit of the uh, early access is that we are actually able to see what people are doing with our game and uh, we can design a little or, or code a little to to support kind of what they are trying to do ah this is where we were talking yeah, about yeah, how I much saying, i hated, hated those blocks. Yeah, exactly yeah so uh let me see let me see What's going on? Any response? No, okay, good. So, um, yeah, we have a new okay. we have a new my entity stat component, which is whitelisted for modders to to access uh, the programming ones, and uh, for the non-programming ones, there's a lot of new definitions to play with. Uh, we've added a phantom component and a phantom effect component, which we all just demonstrated with the campfire. Mm -hmm. The campfire has a component on it called phantom effect component, and it means that when you enter the, the, the field, it will be able to add an effect or remove an effect or whatever you want. 
Uh, yeah, so the the stat and effect system is fully moddable. Uh, you can do lots of crazy stuff. I think probably the the modders among you will have crazy time trying to like like the there there are actually no limitations. Uh, it's it's really cool to work with. I had a lot of fun just adding new new effects. It's it it takes me like 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 minutes to add something new that that can just change some some system completely and. Like uh, for some of the things, like a little bit of programming knowledge will help because if you want to do something that really relies on the stats themselves, you have to do a little programming here and there because that's just how it's set up. But actually some of the uh, CTG people have been experimenting with it and they have been uh, getting some interesting results. All right. Uh, and last but not least, we removed the legacy compatibility helper from inventory item. This is a feature that was there to, to support going from the version 0 0.4 to 0 0.5. So this is like a year and a half ago. <laughs> we finally removed it, which actually now opens up the ability to make custom item types. Uh, for example, Storied Past has been trying to make a book that can store some, some data. Really? And uh, that you can then like walk around and give to people. And That's uh, pretty cool. It's really cool. Uh, there's one small caveat here. Okay. If your item uh, type contains too much data, the serialization does not work and it actually does not get sent over the network. So okay. don't make it too big. That's, that's it, it, again, for modders, that's uh, some really, really big changes that, again, will allow even more crazy things to be modded into Medieval Engineers. It's, it's just really, really exciting. Okay. Yeah, we, we spoke about the fast travel changes. That's actually, that's Jakob in chat, actually, there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Of course you know. No. Yeah, I, I see these things. Yeah. <laughs> we definitely discussed the, the, the fast travel changes. I guess in that case, if there's any, any questions about the stuff you've seen today, guys. Any, any questions about the changes uh, today? Maybe lots of books, RK. Maybe lots of books. So yeah, um, that's 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 like kind of it for zero six three. I think we've covered all the all the main main things. Did I miss anything? Bars have been updated. Food has been changed. Hold on a minute. I can change this to survival. Lots here. of new blocks. Yeah, we we got all the things. So actually, so this is what I meant. All the changes in 061 and 062 uh, are kind of leading, we're kind of leading up to allowing us to change the stat system into what we have now. Um, back in 05, uh, we definitely were not able to make this change simply because of the way that the character the, the, in the code was created. So this is kind of, 06 was all about changing the character from like this hard, coded single defined block of, of, of like code into nice little components. How do you change into I forget AI. Oh yeah, okay. At the bottom That's of the survival. Okay, I just, I just want to bring the stats up again for people who might be arriving late for the stream. There we go, there are the new stats and we're surviving yes. right now. And in 062 we changed the way that the character data is saved so that we can actually we don't recreate the character object every time you die. And this allowed us finally to maintain settings on the character when you die. So for example, when you die, your uh, food is not reset. Some of your buffs are not reset. Some of your other buffs are reset. Buffs can actually um, specify them, or effects as we call them. Uh, they can actually specify whether they are lost on death or not. So uh, for, for really interesting mods, like let's say someone wants to mod in uh, diseases, mm -hmm. uh, they can make a disease that persists upon death and um, it's, no it's, it's super easy. We can actually like persist this so data. Someone can, make the, uh, someone can make bubonic plague or... For sure. Wow. And actually, if they really try, they can make us... I, I, we, we were joking about it, it's called the My Disease component that you can put on the character that is basically inherits from the Phantom uh, component. Mm. It's, it's like this radius around the character. And um, anyone who enters this radius and is a character will get who can get the can, can catch the disease. Catch wow. The disease. Okay, that could be really interesting. And also, I guess it could display a, a visual effect as well, potentially. Uh, yeah, like, you can do all uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, of course, this doesn't exist. This is just like what we could theoretically what what is theoretically what, possible. Actually, what modders could do though, right? Like for right, sure, right now. Okay, you can make lepers. Yes. Le 
Uh, and actually effects have an activate function and a deactivate function and if you want to put uh, special entity effects like particles when you have the plague and you see some oh. flies around your head or whatever it's actually kind of easy I'm back here again <laughs> in the safe area oh, I've reset my sp okay yeah yeah uh, right. this this whole diseases thing is currently not something we are uh, thinking about adding to vanilla base game uh, uh, it takes away a little bit too much we believe from the, the core which is building so uh, for sure we will add we will work on some other features next let's see if i can get down here you can if you're very careful but like uh, it's, it's definitely there there if you're kind of clever about it and the slope is not too steep you can get down that's bottom. actually really interesting though because it, it means that people who build up in the mountains and they, they, they try to protect their castles from in, like um intruders mm. it means that people who often try and go up the mountain and then come from above and kind of slide down yeah. into the castle are going to have a bad time now they're going to have a really bad time <laughs> so this is really interesting it, but it means actually that if you wanted to you could make a feather fall potion or a feather fall scroll or whatever you want to call it that uh, mitigates falling damage yeah exactly oh, okay it's super well super easy like for me it's super easy because i know what to change in the code so, but uh, it's 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 definitely something that can be done. So all the icons for the, for the different buffs and stuff, like they can all be created by modders. So you could have totally custom icons for buffs. Yep. Oh, that's, that's just. Yep. And I have to admit, the the, uh, the these are guys who are doing the um, that big, uh, which what was it called again? Realms of Mist. Exactly. Them. And they're going to have an absolute party with this uh, yep. these modding changes. I, I I really hope so. I really hope so. I hope to see some really cool stuff. And, and other things like, oh, actually, do, can you grab a weapon? Just add a weapon to your inventory. I want to show you something with the barber. That doesn't work. You don't have anything. You cannot. No, I know. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to get his attention to hit me, but he's not. It doesn't seem interested. There he comes. Oh, this, okay. Hold on. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're unarmed. I know the that. Other one I realize that. Now. Now. I realize that. I'm trying to get. Hold on. Am I not in? No, there yeah, you yeah. Ignoring you. Okay. All right. So let's see if these barbarians hate, want, to, want to hate on you. Uh, block his attack once he starts attacking. I will do, yeah, and try and... Sh they don't, it, maybe it's because I hacked the survival. It's not a proper... S no, that should work. There we go. Okay, block Okay, right, attack. block. Oh, wait. You don't have a weapon equipped. See, he, he parries. And now he's stunned for a second. And your stamina is gone. Uh -huh. But actually, this gives you just a little opportunity <laughs> to counterattack if you're, like, really quick. So you don't have to move. You just block the attack. And now you have not enough stamina. Not a stamina at all. You were blocking like a fool. I know, I know. Okay, okay, I'm running. So this is the kind of place where you can pop a fruit juice and uh, kick some of that fruit get juice. Some, get some of that stamina back. Get some of that Fanta. Get some of that good mm -hmm. stuff and sodomy. Okay, right. Let's th now we recharge a little bit and oh, <laughs> oh, come, boom, and then I and you're out of stamina <laughs> again. All so, right, I need a fruit juice. If you're not uh, not uh, Zaklil, <laughs> you can actually parry the attack and then attack him back and then parry the next attack. All right, I'm getting me some fruit juice. We got some stuff there. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, you're yeah. dying. You're dying. All right, got some fruit juice in my toolbar. So now if I hit number two. Yeah, there you go. Drinking up. And now you can just parry and then counter attack. Kind of hard And then parry again. Parry. Right. If you, it's easier if you stop moving. Really. Counter attack and block, block, or, or just double kill. Actually, you have steel sword. It's very fast. <laughs> if you have like a, a stone axe, for example, or some tool that does not really have very good uh, damage, you actually you, you block it and you counter attack. You block and you counter attack. So it, because of the stamina, because I, I think even in PV, not PVP, not just PVE people would just stay blocked forever. Mm -hmm. So that's actually, I think that changed the combat. It's, it's actually really nice, the fact that and you can't stay like I, I personally have many more uh, plans for what I want to do with the combat. Okay. So we're actually, we're, we've started to prototype a little, uh, play around with ideas that we have. We have lots of ideas. And we're pro going to make some changes there for sure, also for player versus player combat. Mm -hmm. I mean, players already, when you parry a player, they cannot counter attack. But at the same time, uh, they don't have this, this, this little stun moment that the barbarians do. 
So if I combine fruit juice, right, with sweet bread, mm -hmm. I can then get a buff for... No, they, they are both buffs. So you okay, can have no. one of the two. This was, this but if you, if you notice that the bread also gives you vigor because it's food. The, drink, uh -huh. the drinks don't give you vigor. Okay. They're just drinks. No, I was thinking if I could, because the juice... Um, right. Yep, so the juice is stamina regen, but mm -hmm. one of the other ones was health regen. I think. Yes, that's it? the tea. But the tea, the, the tea. Okay. Herbal tea. Herbal because tea, good herbs, for your bones. Herbs are also used for right. the bandages, which are also for healing. This is why like it's it's herbs and healing. So if we switch over to the, the tea now. Oh, hold on. This is the tea. We get that. Okay, yes. interesting, interesting. Uh, can... Also, while you're regenerating health, you consume some of the food that you have. So actually taking lots of bad damage and regenerating it consumes your food faster, which will eventually lead to hunger again. Pretty cool stuff. So uh, we can actually join the X-Wing as running a server. Well, we, can, we can actually join the server and maybe see what others are up to there. Okay, yeah, we can all hop on. We can. Uh, so yeah, any any more questions, guys? Any concerns yeah, about? this is a good moment for us to, to about talk the about some basic yeah. basic change, like about the update. All right, there, that's one, I guess. This, this so everyone <laughs> join the KCN. Two hundred players, really? Two hundred players. Let's go. Yeah. All right. I don't think we can uh, run at two hundred. <laughs> right. So. What is how do how do you guys feel about this update like so far? Looking, looking fantastic. <laughs> or looking tan. Oh, it says looking tan. Yeah, I went to Florida. I was two weeks in Florida, and uh, I just got back. Well, actually, I got back last week, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, something like that which uh, gave me some uh, ample time to get over my jet lag because the jet lag was was real and um, it's much better now uh, i had a great time in florida i went to kennedy space center i saw the the space shuttle i was super excited that's I, really, I really cool I'm really very i mean jealous. i'm i'm also like i really like playing space engineers which is what got me to the company in the first place and I'm a big fan of space stuff, so that was great. But I also went to a restaurant in Orlando called Medieval Times. Medieval Times. It was really cool. They have like jousting and like, uh, it, was, it was a really fantastic show. And after that, <laughs> we came back to Miami and we sat on the beach for a week. Mm -mm. Good times. Mm -hmm. All right then. I wonder where everyone's meeting. Is this, an em is this empty? Ah, it's, an, it's the empty one. It's the empty one. Oh, too bad. No, I was thinking we can meet up some... Uh, and you're not near a road. Mm -hmm. If you turn on uh, Medieval Master, you have uh, no fast travel limitations. Right, let's, let's you can literally travel wherever you want, on top of mountains, in the plains, whatever. Right, let's, like let's this was a feature spot. requested by admins that like they would be able to fast travel to places. So admin mode fast traveling overrides all the rules and allows them to even go but into this, enemy terrain. But this is a change in 6.3? Yeah, no, this was in 6.2 uh, okay, somewhere. Right, okay. I just couldn't remember. Yeah, yeah. So yeah of course Medieval Times is scripted, but go to, the show is entertaining for sure. Let's go to uh, uh, Levos B3, the crossroads here, so just like here. I was so pissed when the Red Knight C6. lost. C6. Hold on, do I travel? I didn't. No. Mm -hmm. Can you go to a road? I've got Medieval Master on. But yeah, but maybe it's traveling from the road that doesn't work. I don't know, it should be working fine. I had this issue before, actually, on the CTG server that fast travel wasn't um, behaving. But it was only sometimes, so... This might be something I will have to look into, but it's okay. We will do. Uh, we'll hopefully, we'll get some uh, lead on this uh, this door crash, and uh, we'll do a hot fix tomorrow. Oh, there's Phoenix. He was right of you. Oh. What? It, it, it was he here? Yeah, he was there. What? 
He's not there anymore, but he was there a moment ago. That was a watch out. Who are you looking at the chat? Yeah. I can fly, of course. Hmm, interesting. Um, there's some things that apparently uh, a mouse stutter. Do you know anything about that? What Curvis is saying in the chat? Are you aware of the mouse stutter problems in the game for you? The mouse stutter. Mm hmm. No. There we go. It had to be a. Um, what could be the cause of mouse stutter? Ah, someone reported a game crash. So I guess there is something naughty with the with the doors. Okay. Right. Yeah. Something naughty with the doors. That's at least. Did you get a crash? Okay. Right. Oh yeah, by the way, Cogernaut, if you want to add bars, it's in content, uh, data, uh, GUI, HUD definitions.sbc. All the stats that are added to the character by default. Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Oh, and you've added, is this new? Uh, we added that when was in 6.2.8, I think. It was much easier to count the amount of players on the screen this way. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely, yeah. Tw okay, it tells you how many people they're in, that's good. 25 people in, so let's see if we can get everyone joining us and meeting up here. Levos B3 C7. Oh yeah, the fiery sword. How did he get that? The little hacker. Already? Can you mace, Can you hit someone with a fiery sword, Shad? Like, can you hit someone oh. in the face? Yeah, 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 this, so... Is it, is what's gonna happen? Well, I, well, think, I think we can guess, happen. I think we can guess what's gonna happen as oh, soon as... Me. As soon as Shad parses the command and... There we go, there we go, now hit hit Zog, or, well, anyone, but Zog is preferable because it's always good to... Burn the heretic. Yeah. <laughs> He's burning oh, now. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. <laughs> and you're on fire. Oh, there's a, new, there's a new fire. Oh, and there's a new fire actual yeah. um, screen and as well. Actually, you can see there the burning damage is going away and now you're almost dead. Oh, everyone's getting here, though. Oh, what's going on with your damage indicator? I'm still get, I'm still on fire apparently. Ah, uh, I guess. Not uh, yeah, we have like a definition for poison that was a prototype that we never actually we decided to keep it as an example. Uh, otherwise, we would have deleted it, but we decided to keep it as an example. Um, and like there's a couple of these uh, example things in the in the in the definitions that you can find. Ah, Curvis is saying the fire screen seems to be server wide. Uh -huh. so if, if that's, so, that's, interesting. that's interesting actually. Okay, let's just let's test that then. So yeah, Chad, hit hit anyone else and just see if, if set, set one person on fire. Hmm. Not Zok, someone else. Because we of course don't have like eleven hundred people. So. Kogano's very happy. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, your mod was part of the inspiration of of what we did when we did the mm -hmm. redesign to make things uh, easy right, hold for on. for people. So he's, trying, he's trying to get someone. <laughs> he just want to be hit. <laughs> there we go. He hit someone. Uh, no, it seems okay. It's just Ian is keeping keeping uh, up with putting fires in the okay. ass. Everyone's getting here though. Yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen with the, with the stat system mods. Uh, I spent a lot of time to make it really nice and really nice and moldable. So, uh, we'll see. 32 players, damn. It's fantastic. The lag is real though. You see that? Yeah, yeah. What, what, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is. Well, it's everybody somewhat connecting. There's, a, there's, a, there's this usual connection spike. Where it's, uh, it's, it's replicating the environment items to the player. So, let's see. What Any final questions, guys, or feedback about the new stat system, the new blocks? I'm really interested to see here, because as I say, there's tons of nice changes. The real Cogernaut is going. Cogernaut is going to have so much fun when he discovers that there's also the ability to add like chance and. Chat. Yeah, yeah, like if you add certain effects that are applied can have a chance so that they don't always apply. <laughs> but there's actually no, I don't think we have any item that has a chance. In oh there. my. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, this is lovely. Torches are naughty. Oh, you're someone is killing you. Any far left for me? Deer. There we go. You are seriously hurt. Kill yourself. <laughs> Love the new blocks. So, Jago, you just make uh, make look up uh, under data, characters, stats, and effects, effects.sbc. You can see all the effects that we have in the game. Or there's another one. Oh, there's some more examples in uh, items. Oh, he's placed a plank door. Ah, so it does. And work. it's not crashing. So there's the plank door then. I'm on fire again. I'm probably going to die this time. Yeah. No, no, I'm not on fire. That's the thing. No, there's something. But there's odd. something. There's persist. something odd with the sink here. I don't know what it is. We'll have to look into that. But this is what you get when you have 32 people bouncing about. 36 people. 36 people. <laughs> It's good though, it's called a stress test server for a reason, right? <laughs> uh, what about the food stacks? Why the change in size? Okay, so that was a really long discussion yeah. about the, the, the stacks. And uh, the idea is that right now, with the value of food has changed. So also the value of uh, the inventory slot, to kind of keep that in balance, had to change along with it. Uh, that's why we reduced the stack size and then we reduced the stack size also we set it to like something similar for consistency's sake because um, otherwise it would just be like oh i can have five of these but ten of those and no 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 no, no one knows so we decided to make it uh, make it the same and we reduced it a little bit oh. yes yeah, yeah. Mo oh, you mean the particle effect, Jago? The particle effects. Well, you can make them in the uh, with the particle definitions, but they are kind of complicated to read by uh, by hand to do it manually. It's uh, oh, is it's, it's, it's not easy because it's it's a very complicated uh, format. To just steal all of it. Some buffs there, that's what I needed. I don't know what you Is this tea? No, that's just the fruit tea. juice. Yeah. There's the tea. Right. I just wanted to have some of that health regen, you know. There we go. Get the health regen. And, and yes, uh, JB, the ax the stone axes and the other axes, they are not war axes, they are just regular old wood cutting axes. Which are not uh, meant for combat. So is this this it's like it's like bread and jam, is it? Something like that, yeah. It's fruit. You fruit. take some fruits and you you spread them on. So hey, I, I think you could compare it with a jam. Look at this. What's going on right now? Thirty two. Okay, we kind of dropped off a bit now. I think X wings. What's that? X wings profiling. Yes, I think so. He wants to see what's going on. It's very interesting though. Look at this. Um. And that's, it's, it's also good to see that clearly we've uh, got a lot of people excited about the modding potential, even people who might not be modding currently. Yeah. Fantastic. Once the new stone texture is when around the stone is square, there's stone on the match. Yeah, we will, we will, when we do the stone blocks, we will do all of them in a single pass. Okay, yes. Will, that, that will be okay. not like how we're doing the wood with some once, uh, groups at a time. The stone blocks will all be done in one pass. A lot of stone blocks. This is going to be, I think, quite a, a long. Well, no, one thing is the texture, of course. Well, it will, it will take some time. It will be more something for like uh, zero 07, for example, not for zero 06. If we have, I don't know if we will have a zero 064, but chances are we will have a zero 064. Um, we will see. But for the, the stone blocks, that will be a bit later. I think thinking of the stat system, uh, mm -hmm. 505 is asking about the, the, like the effect of temperature you can implement that it's actually i'm uh, playing with that concept in my spare time at home like, oh uh, really i'm just trying to trying some things and you know just, just trying some things sometimes we have ideas that 
we don't necessarily want to have in vanilla because they can take away from the core concept which is really the building and then we decide to like I, i'm still like in my spare time as a mod i can do whatever i want so uh, I, you, we can play with these concepts actually for example the alphorn is something we really liked but it's kind of thematically not so fitting for what we are doing here so that's why the alphorn is not part of the um, base game uh, but you know like they really want to kill you they do I would just stay here above where they can't get me. No, they have crossbows, man. Um, what else? Do we have? Yes, so Coconut's asking again, people who might miss the start. Uh, fast travel now costs food. So if you want to make a big journey around the other side of the planet or even just anywhere, it's going to cost you food and you might have to stock up quite heavily in your inventory to be able to uh, travel great distances. Mm -hmm. it's, another, it's another balance to that, that fast travel mechanic. Also, is that optional? And is that like an advanced fast travel setting to turn off? You can turn off all the fast travel thingies in one go. Like there's two settings for fast travel, whether okay. or not it's enabled altogether and whether or not restrictions apply. If you disable the restrictions apply, there's, there you can travel through people's areas. You can, you can, you're no longer bound to the roads. And uh, we, we really want to like, take it to like th this is how we want the design of the game to be <laughs> and like there's some modding you can do you can change it in the mod if you don't really don't want the fast travel to consume food you can set the multiplier to zero and it will consume no food there's a lot of death and violence going on right now yeah it's people it's are being hunted that's what, down. You, that's what you get when you put 36 people together then you get these shenanigans can we <laughs> Uh, and yes, you can craft one food in your inventory. You have two arches in the same space, and also I don't exactly know what he means by that, but probably there is a compounding limitation that is uh, stopping him from doing something specific. <laughs> Dead. What effects are you planning, or would you like to add? In all fairness, uh, this is what we are now. We're, we're kind of starting. Experimenting. Yeah, we're starting experimenting with concepts, stuff like uh, like bleeding effects or poison effects, um, stuff to tie into the combat mechanics to make that maybe more interesting. Uh, nothing that I am comfortable committing to right now. But we are playing with some of these effects, and um, we will see how these things work. Um, we will see what we will add in the future. <laughs> oh, I ran out of water. That is kind of sad. <coughs> see. Uh, what is the Does the server come up recommended? No, I, I don't think you need to restart your servers for, the, for this. There's no... You mean like start from scratch? No, yeah. you can you can carry on where you, you can were. Carry on, uh, uh, Zynex. It's, it's definitely you don't have to restart it. But oh, that's another thing for the modders. Maybe the my sector weather component now provides slightly more detailed information about the location where you're at. For example, the time of day and the season that it's in. It's just a small little change that for some mods can be helpful. It will actually tell you what the sun altitude is to your location. Uh, real cover knot, if you want to make your own weapon behaviors, you can do that. It's actually not super complicated. Uh, and then you have in the attacks, when, when you start uh, the action, it will actually tell you whether it's a primary, secondary or tertiary uh, move that you're making. This was actually a bug that was present in the pickaxe. Uh, it would uh, always, if you would click the middle mouse button, which is by default the tertiary action, you could mine like super ultra fast because it did not go through the correct uh, checks, which was kind of funny. More arms and armor and wearable skins. So uh, I would be lying if I said we weren't thinking about how to play with armors 
uh, <laughs> and, and adding this into the game in a fun way. Uh, this is not something we will be doing in the short term for sure. Um, it might be something for a longer term uh, goal, but at the moment we are not working on equipment um, system stuff. Like it, it, we have some ideas, but nothing we're working on right now. <laughs> my, my sector weather info, Gloop Freund. Freund, yeah. Gloop, Gloop Freund. No! You can theoretically have a third attack. Yes, there are three actions primary action, secondary action, tertiary action. But our melee weapon code only implements a primary action and blocking. Yeah, it's a game about building in harmony. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's the idea, but I don't see any and much building or harmony here. Yeah, this is, I think what's in the background is the complete opposite to building in harmony. It's yeah. uh, it's it's chaos and uh, violence. Like I think like uh, the 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 uh, a proper battle axe is something that would be cool as a weapon. Well, that's that kind of leads. If you're talking about combat, of course, that way you might have different. Um, stats for weapons, not yeah. just like damage, but also like you know, maybe a two handed mm -hmm. big swing. Oh, yeah, this is a good point. Um, reload because you know, Shad so. just mentioned it. Um, they're like they are planning a castle siege, and of course, I signed up for it because it will be fun to do. Mm -hmm. But do you think you can uh, stream it? We can maybe make a little stream out of yeah, it, yeah, yeah, that could be fun. Right now, by default, the middle mouse button, like you can go to options to control uh, bindings and through the actions, you will see tertiary action there. That's the key bound to the tertiary action. The, the ever, ever returning water question. <laughs> like <laughs> who asked? Oh, uh, dying dark star dying is dark today's, star. Yeah. Uh, today's water guy. Water guy. <laughs> so I will, I will kind of like, water to do it like justice like you can add it in some half-assed way which is not cool and to do with justice is a huge investment of time it's on the scale of when planets were added to space engineers and um, well, like, a, like a year there are there, there, that's like a year like i don't know how much work and then there's lots of issues like performance and lots of gameplay things and it's it's really super challenging and yes we can do some super basic plane at some level where there's but that's not interesting so rather i would spend this time on making other mechanics of the game work better and when we are finished building everything else so that it's like working correctly when we have like all right what do we do next i don't know oh there you can see the spear the uh, spear the the kind of hand, like stabbing animation plow. with the plow like it's no longer just like this weird uh, smooth but oh hold on once actually the all the mechanics of the game are kind of like done and we have like all right we don't know what else to do that's the moment where we can consider about for example uh adding uh, hmm. things like water for the time being, don't uh, don't don't get your hopes up because this is really super long-term stuff. Maybe after we like as a DLC after we finish the release, like no 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 we we have like it's oh it's, no, no. It's so far in the no. future. Maybe 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 the guys from Space Engineers will edit for for like in the future. I don't know. There is no right now. We have no plans for what they're. Is that a new? We are not like we are not working on it at all. What? Is yeah, that a new, there's is a new it, attack animation. And the eye animation, right? The eye animation being on the shoulder. Was is it not always like that? I don't know. I, I, it might have I thought changed. it was like just we, like. We made that. lots of little changes to the animations and postures, so it's possible. So it's, hopefully, these people do some like stabbing actions. Yeah, look at that. Cha. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Cha. I really like it. It's, uh, oh, there's a massive barbarian. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, look at that poor. Oh, oh, my God. He oh, got, no. He got, he got oh, banged wow. up there. He came to the wrong town. He came to the wrong town. Well, the wrong, whatever wrong this is. <laughs> he came to the wrong neighborhood. Oh, no, it's just 
desecrating his body. This is terrible. Yeah, and actually, yeah, again, uh, Yakov was confirming that this is you. Oh, and actually, hold on, look, and also the shovel, the resting animation for the shovel. Yeah, it's the same. Two hand we have essentially we've implemented the same thing for two-handed weapons or weapons, two-handed equipment. Uh, that they like, they they occupy the same equipment slots and they behave in the same way, and it's kind of uh, consistent. And I think it's a much nicer animation than the, is, the, is this by any chance Momo Piru showing off his animation work? I don't know who it is. I, don't, I can't see the names. Uh, so I'm not here. Uh -huh. um. A barbarian walks into a bar. <laughs> Yeah, we will in the future definitely revisit the AI. It's uh, definitely in need of uh, revisiting. Uh, speedy Builder built something here. <laughs> this guy is desperate to get in. Longer life on Torch of Barney. So the torches currently should have 30 minutes of life. Which is uh, like given the fact that the day in the game lasts two hours. It's like a quarter of a day, so six hours in real life. I don't think it's so unrealistic. 6.3 allows us to do everything we weren't able to, we were able to do. 5.3. I'm not sure what it means there. Oh, stab of a shovel. Yeah. <clears throat> See you, Dan. Have a good one, man. Oh, Dan, what? Hmm. It's a minor move. Sorry, just a, just a small thing. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. Alright, that worked? I don't know if that worked. No one knows if that worked. Hmm, okay. There we go. Good. Now it works. Uh, Kogernaut, by the way, we if you look at weapon effects.sbc, you, you can see a way for giving people effects based on what they equip. So if you want to say make a sword that gives you a movement speed when you equip it, uh, it's both. Or actually, I don't know how many people uh, know this uh, this YouTube series, but there was this one guy. Yeah, he, uh, he was called uh, FPS Doug, and he was always like running around with a knife in real life because he says everybody knows you run faster with a knife. I wonder how many people get this reference. <laughs> I was just thinking. Um, there was something I was thinking. Uh, a way to unplow soil. There's a uh, Mirzipan made a mod for that, I believe. Really? Yeah. No, no, that wasn't it, actually. There was something about something on screen right now. <laughs> Assemble a dining table and host a feast. 32 players. <laughs> Kogernaut is having the best day of his life. <laughs> I think the more the modders remember this, I think. I th more hear about this, I think they'll be... Yeah. And I think all of our uh, community models are here tonight. Yeah. I think when they all get word of these changes, they're going to be very, very excited. Ooh, there's some nice log balancing going on over there. Equinox is actually making a really cool Rails mod. I know, I know and about I'm, his Rails I mods. am super hyped for it. Like every time he shows me pictures, I'm like, oh, faster. Yeah, it's going to be insane. It's, it's going to be really, really yeah. nuts. Oh, hello. But he's also been giving us lots of really good uh, feedback, like uh, stuff that uh, like he found uh, a memory leak and he patched it. It's actually up fixed in 063. And uh, he's really he's a really great guy. And he's what is this? This is kind of kind of strange what they're doing here. Okay, <laughs> you're on fire. You get to work for sure. Ah, there's the there are the ladders. Yeah, they would be cool, but uh, but but lots of animation work to make this nice. 
Someone built an outhouse. Let's see. What do you reckon then? I reckon we've released a really nice update. Yeah, I, I think we have to. That's what I reckon. I was super excited for I've been super excited for this update for, for like well over two months now, but actually the last week it really started like last weeks. Uh, it really started to, to, to come together and once I saw everything working together it was like uh, it's, it's, it's so cool and, and it works so nice. The stat system is fantastic. It's so much fun to work with and uh, oh. it's just fun to like think about what can we what can we do with this. There are so many gameplay uh, avenues that have been opened up by it. And uh, not just for mothers, but also for us. And this was actually one of the things that, like, this is zero six three has all be, uh, has has like the kind of the theme of zero point six in general has been the character. So it was like the, the again like it was the way that this was how it was created in the code, the way it was managed, saved. Uh, everything is consistently like this kind of the theme of the of the update. And and this really the character is of course the central part of the game because as you play it you are a character and everything that happens to your character directly influences your mm. game experience definitely and that's what makes everything feel you feel more connected to your character that was the idea yeah and like we will probably tweak the balance uh, for sure there's lots of like balance like as we will get feedback from the players um, about like how it feels, maybe it's too punishing, maybe it's not punishing enough, maybe this feature works better than that feature and they just want to mix them. And like Definitely, we, yeah. The, the balance is, is something like we've tested it on a limited scale. I mean, we've only have uh, like, uh, an, like a dozen of developers and our CTG is not so large uh, that we have like hundreds of people playing it. And now we can hopefully get some uh, uh, like get also some feedback on the balance of the, the stats feel and we will see how it goes and what's the in terms of the question to do in mods is it is the discord the best place to discuss modding uh, of course on the forums as always yeah mod for for me discord that's the one i look at the most Can uh, people contact you I'm personally at any more queries or is it better to dis they can discuss in modding chat okay, and, okay. and if i see any questions where i know the answer i will definitely not hesitate to answer I know lots of things about the stat system, uh, being the, the one who did a lot of the implementation work, uh, but also when it comes to the design aspects of it, for example, the answer, he's, uh, he did a lot of the, the tweaking there. Uh, Nakochata is in the chat. I really don't know what's going on Maybe there. Maybe do I, weird things I actually want to know. Okay. Um, People seem to be very happy though about this. Yeah, that's Scott good. Scott was saying, uh, really looking forward to streaming this at the weekend. We have a bunch of beginner tutorials for modding and they're on the wiki. <coughs> uh, MedievalEngineersWiki.com. Oh, they knocked down the pillars. Uh, so there, there's already some beginning information there. And if you want to do more advanced stuff, that's where the community comes in. And you can work together. It's uh, very friendly. There's lots and lots of people. Write right more guides. It's a community powered wiki. You can write your own guides. And if they're good enough, uh, like we can actually like uh, lock them so that people cannot mm -hmm. mess around with them. Um, it's kind of, we're hoping to see a knowledge base of modding grow there. But of course that relies on the community also starting to like really like put some articles there captain twinkie has been trying to manage this process and i think he's done a good job so far it's an interesting comment from sanford asking if they could move the stat display from the bot the top left the bottom left like uh -huh. i guess that's kind of the idea because if you you know mmos where you can move huds anywhere you want like the thing is of course at the moment sanford the the chat the, is there the and chat and lots of like our, our our hud is not designed to be moved around uh, it would be amazing if it was, but we have to pick our battles. I'm just thinking if it would look quite interesting down the bottom left, if it was keep everything. For sure, but other mm. things have to change. For example, the yeah. way that the, the, the buffs are placed and it would have to be inverted. Yeah. It's, it's not designed to be positioned in any other place than the top left corner. Um, 
who knows in the future we can play with it right now we are not like working on making a hut that is super dynamic moldable like like what you have in world of warcraft for example uh coggernaut uh as for machines i am not entirely sure what you mean but it's it should be possible to add custom uh, sources and sinks it's just a power source it's just how you connect other components to it um maybe we can discuss it after the stream i think i would have to go way more in depth than i'm able to do from the top of my head mm. like i know a lot about what's going on but i don't know the definitions like from top of my head and it's it's uh, complicated stuff modding can get quite complicated <coughs> conveyors are the same thing uh again it will have to be added somehow we don't have any we didn't have any designs for it, so I cannot just give you an idea like, oh, you can implement conveyors like this. Uh, you can maybe talk with uh, Equinox or maybe Mirzipan has some ideas. They're like kind of the programming models that we have because not, a, not like we have a set of models that can program and a set of models that cannot program. And you're asking stuff that requires programming. And if anyone knows anything about the mechanical systems, that's Mirzipan, given that he's the one who originally implemented them before he uh, had to go and Equinox is also just a general what's this really good <laughs> really good mother look at this guy here yeah he's looking pretty badass there he's still like hey oh, oh no he's, he's still holding the torch up oh he was that's interesting can we make can we yes you could theoretically make an attack or, or some effect yes it is possible with some programming to make an effect or or, uh, or some component that allows you to drain vitality from others wow it is not implemented in vanilla is, definitions ooh, okay. you will definitely need to do some programming there but it is possible <laughs> just, <laughs> it's madness you just he hit shad of a club and then shad's gone off with a <laughs> flaming sword uh -huh. Ticket classic. Uh, Ticket was fun. Game crash. This is this, 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 so there are some game crashes happening. I think. There are some game crashes happening. Let's try and figure out, guys, what's going on with this game crash, and then uh, hopefully we get to we, we can fix it by like tomorrow. We'll release a hot fix, mm -hmm. and then all is all is good. Because he was getting game crashes in single player. Uh, but we tried like in the meantime I asked uh, like there was only one other guy but he was trying and he couldn't repro the crash so uh, let's let's try and figure out together guys what is causing this crash and we will like that will be my top priority for tomorrow so we could use for some steps to reproduce it yeah exactly yeah uh, like, well, actually, maybe we can <coughs> we can like set up a debug build in your PC, repro the crash locally. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, that will work. We will see what goes on. That will be something for tomorrow for sure, because like I think it's almost time to call it an end here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, any last things? Any last things that I want to answer or or do? No, I think I think it's okay. Open your map, they say. I can't. My game's bugged out right now. I, I can't even get to my my character is non-existent. Does escape work? Escape works. I, I don't actually understand what's happened. I was shenanigans. Shenanigans has happened. Yeah. yeah. When will coffee be released for medieval engineers? I don't drink coffee, so too bad. <laughs> Actually, I was originally considering adding the tea to the barbarians so that the barbarians can drop tea. Mm -hmm. And I figured that would trigger all the British people. But uh, so they, I was talked out of it, so. Come on, Kun's happy. <laughs> yeah, you got it, yeah, You ugly, got it. Those ugly railings, let's, they were let's, so let's bad. Let's remind ourselves of this. Ah, They're the old railings. It. It hurts me. It hurts me. Look at that height. Perfect height right Yeah, there. perfect height to see nothing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> there's, been, there's been plenty of crystal. Uh, crystal, there's, there's been quite a lot of uh, hints, I think, but well, hints of things that are being worked on. Mm. Um, yeah. 
All right. My throat's going a bit dodgy, suddenly I don't know what's going on there. <clears throat> ah. Presumably Tim, hello. He says, happy update, engineers. <laughs> Indeed, happy update, guys. I hope this update uh, agrees with all of you, and I hope you're all excited about what this means for the game. And I hope that I've, um, I've, I've managed to not cast too much of a shadowy veil over what we'll be doing into the future. Uh, like as you all know, like there's some there, there I cannot just uh, talk about all the plans, but I hope I showed at least enough uh, thoughts and things that we will be working on into the future for medieval engineers. This is Leonce's clang shrine here. Clang shrine. Look at my clang shrine. My clang shrine is amazing. The clang shrine can be the uh, the outro sh shot here, Leonce. It's very nice. All right. Thank you, the answer for the Clang Shrine. Deep leaks. There are some deep leaks. That's okay. That's what they pay me for. All right, let's see if we can get everyone on the server to stand on the uh, the structure. Without so, destroying it. Yeah, without destroying it. Everyone just stand on the steps, I don't know, stand inside on top, at the bottom, on the stairs, wherever you like. Um, <laughs> Plans confirmed. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this update. For yeah, me, no. It's, for, it's, for me, it's been a really, really cool, cool. It was a cool ride to make this update, and like I think the results are also really cool. And there's this this gnarly little crash. We will get it. And of course, we have plenty of bugs to fix. Like there's, it's not like it's, it's, a, it's a, there's just little things here and there, and of course. So again, reports that will help us find things uh, faster and get things fixed faster. Whoa. <laughs> <That's interesting. laughs> the burning sword on top. The fiery sword. That's what we call it. Fiery sword. Fiery sword. Fiery sword. Yeah. There are no bugs, only features. There are no bugs. Mm. It's, good, it's good mentality they're, right there. They're, they're, they're just misunderstood features. Barbarian is coming to hang out. It's denied. Okay, guys. I all right, then. Yep. I think that's it. Thank you all for joining us. I hope you will enjoy this update. And um, yeah, I'll be streaming it. I don't know. I've got to fit it. I've got to fit it back in again now. Probably is it tomorrow Tuesday. No, today's Tuesday. Today mm. is Tuesday. Today is medieval Tuesday. Because I was I was tempted to go and stream it, but I'm just, I don't know. Whew. We'll see. Maybe I'll stream some medieval in a bit when I get home and eat a little bit. But yeah. It was, uh, it's definitely worth checking out, guys. If you haven't uh, checked out Medieval, even for like a long period, because there were some people, even today, are saying, oh, you know, the game's still being worked on, question mark. And it's great, interesting to see there's still lots and lots of people who uh, don't realize the work that's been going on, like, yes. in the last year, even. So this definitely was, check it out. This was a lot of hard work by a lot of people. And we will continue. Uh, doing this hard work because we love it and we know you guys do when we finally manage to release it because of course a lot of this stuff we change a lot of things in the not just in the game itself but in the engine and uh, yeah we it just takes time to get it polished and done but like Kinata says we never quit we will fix them all we will Im improve everything and we will make it great and we will continue to make the game Better and better. No one said the sacrifice is the clang being made. Yep. Shad, you need to update your server. <laughs> Alright. Well then guys, thank you and see you for the well even for a seed stream or for the what next stream? update stream. So thank you so much guys. It's been a pleasure to uh, to do another medieval stream actually and check out all the awesome work so it's been fun doing another release stream and until the next one guys uh, I'm, I'm gonna resist doing a quote you know because they will probably kick me out or something so yeah bye bye